What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm taking you guys on another trip to the thrift and honestly a lot of the footage from today's video is probably two or three weeks old at this point and luckily a couple items have already sold so of course I'm going to keep you guys updated and let you guys know which items already sold from today's video and how much it's sold for but I'm definitely trying to build up some momentum and just get back to creating more videos for you guys because lately I've just been on full on dad mode but I'm trying to just find that balance and just get back into the swing of things. I thought I was going to be right back in like the top of this month but it took me a little longer than expected but it is what it is so if you guys haven't already hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so we hitting the clothing section first and i came up on this nfl game day jacket and this one was really clean in my opinion um nice little jeweled zipper on the tag as well and it was heavily embroidered on the front and it even had that nice big logo on the back so overall really dope jacket just way too expensive for me and for my uh in my opinion 25 bucks for this jacket and these vintage jackets um this particular team doesn't sell for that much money maybe if it was just a maybe more of a popular team probably would have grabbed it but for that price just wasn't worth it to me now next was this built motorcycle jacket built isn't the best brand um even if this jacket was leather it probably still wouldn't sell for that much profit um certain motorcycle jacket brands i usually would pass on them and this is just a good example of that um, anytime I do find these jackets, um, if I was if I was to pick it up, I always try to check the elbows and the shoulder pads because usually I've, I've picked up a couple in the past and the shoulder pads or the elbow pads are completely crumbled and I ended up losing out on some money with that. So keep those in mind when you come across any of those jackets. Uh, next up is this Conduit Soft Shell. I believe this one was Mountain Hardware. Um, pretty good condition jacket. Uh, Mountain Hardware is one of those brands that I used to find pretty often back in Cali. Um, I don't find it that often out here, but a jacket like this in this condition usually brings in right around 40 to 50 bucks. So for this price point, definitely going to take a chance on this one. So next up was this pair of Jordan 12s in this uh I believe this is the French blue colorway. I, I know I have this pair in my collection as well. I wear this one pretty often. Um, this one was a size 14, but just a little too beat up for me. They were asking 35 bucks, no insoles, a lot of scuffs, a lot of uh, just damage overall to these shoes. So definitely not worth it to me. Um, I know somebody that probably would, you know, restore shoes would have a field day with these because they'd be able to bring those back to life. But for me, just not worth my time. Next up was this pair of Hustle Hearts. And these are actually Kevin Hart's running shoes. He's probably the first and only comedian to have his own pair of running shoes with Nike. So shout out to him. Um, I would have grabbed these if these were in better condition. But as you guys can see, they were asking 25 bucks. It was also missing the insole. And once I seen the other shoe, um, the other shoe was just in worse condition than this one. So for that reason, I ended up passing. But if they were in good shape, I probably could have got 70 to maybe 80 bucks for those because they're not a ton of those listed right now at all. So next up came up on this coach jacket. I'm actually in a completely different thrift store right now, but this was just a vintage coach leather jacket and coach isn't one of those brands that I would always grab up, but I checked the comps and these coach jackets were usually selling for right around a hundred bucks. And I had a discount on my store uh, maybe a couple days ago, 10% uh, off. And this jacket sold during that sale for $98.99. So I was definitely happy with that. And of course, as you guys know, I'm trying to make sure that I charge shipping for most of the items in my store. So I made a decent amount of profit with that one as well. And right next to that was another jacket. And this one was also leather. Um, this one was practically brand new without tags. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and list it like that. This one was just in really, really good shape. Um, probably get maybe 40 or 50 bucks for this jacket. Definitely not a ton of profit. But I know these types of pieces usually would sell during the fall and winter. If this was my size, maybe if it was a maybe, maybe a small, because this jacket runs pretty big. But if it was a small, I would have grabbed this one up, probably threw some patches on there and made this one look really nice. But I'm going to go ahead and sell that one on eBay. So here was a vintage Orvis uh, fishing vest. I'm back in Goodwill, as you guys can see. But these vintage Orvis pieces, they usually do bring in a decent amount of profit. This one should sell for maybe 40 bucks. Um, this one did have some stains and uh, some minor flaws here and there. But like I said, if this one was in better shape, I would have been super excited because I know I sold one in the past for like 80 bucks. But one in this condition and with the amount of pockets this one has should sell for around 40. So I'll take a chance on that. And here was an AT&T answering machine, uh, the, the whole phone system, um, brand new in the box. It looks like somebody um, probably just donated this, probably bought it by accident. Who knows why they even donated this, but I opened the box to make sure everything was in there. 
and this was practically brand new as well so definitely gonna grab this one up and this one should sell for right around maybe 40 or 50 bucks next up came up on this mike trout angels jersey and i don't pick up a ton of baseball stuff but anytime i find jerseys especially from players that i'm familiar with i definitely try to grab those up because if it's a baseball player that i know that means he's a big deal and of course mike trout is definitely a superstar so this jersey should bring in close to 40 or 50 bucks especially since it's in such good condition so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one up for sure so this was a crazy find here was a pair of jordan 11s in this columbia colorway and as soon as i walked into the store there was actually somebody checking these out before i was um, maybe he didn't think they were legit maybe it wasn't his size but i do think he took the price tag out of these because there was no price tag to be found but once i took these to the register the girl there gave me an amazing price so shout out to her i'll tell you all about that in a second but once i seen these i knew these were legit i just wanted to check that carbon fiber and make sure that it was actually carbon fiber because the fakes usually have plastic but i'll break it down in a minute for you guys just so you guys can see some of the details to check it all right y'all so we are back in the crib and here is that pair of jordan 11s in that columbia color way this was a size 10 and i usually wear a size 10 and a half or 11 so these were a little too snug for me but as you guys know i'm not really with the dirty shoe thing i don't know what it is i was gonna clean this up a little more but like, trying to clean the, these little tassels are really really difficult so i might try to scrub them with a soft bristle brush but i might just go ahead and leave them as is i don't know what it is these days a lot of these kids are wearing these dirty shoes i, I know i guess they're they're liking that vintage look the dirty air force ones thing i don't know that's that's definitely not my era i'm about to be 32 at the end of the year and i remember when i was growing up we used to take pride in keeping our shoes super clean so for me if i was to wear these i would have to scrub these very 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 hard but like i said as soon as i got home i just tried to use some rubbing alcohol and i tried to just clean up the patent leather a little bit just to get rid of some of those dirt marks because at first i thought they were scuffs but once i was able to get home and just get a closer look i realized that they were just some dirt on the patent leather now just to give you guys some quick tips in terms of uh, legit checking these because these were 100 percent legit now the first thing i did when i looked at these was just to look at the 23 because i remember a lot of pairs with these the 23 the, the two and the three would be damn near connected and that would be a really quick way to tell if they were legit or not and of course the jump man on the back sometimes i've seen jump man logos where they literally just look they just look terrible i've seen some that had butt cracks i've seen some that were just uh crooked like they were just looking terrible but as you guys can see those look really good and of course the tag on the inside the font is correct um i wish i can get a closer look at this i might just take a picture and try to insert it here for you guys because it's going to be kind of hard to get that photo of the for photo of the size tag in there but as you guys can see the size tag for sure is legit it's a size 10 uh the date is correct the style code information is correct uh and for me once i see a tag just looking at the font i can definitely just tell if it's legit or not um nowadays when it comes to these new uh uas or reps or whatever people call them it's super super hard to tell the difference but back in the day uh fake jordans was super easy to tell the difference whether they were legit or not so thankfully these are legit and i didn't even tell you guys so when i grabbed these up they did not have a price tag on these and i took it to the register asked the girl at the register and she really didn't care and she just gave it to me for five bucks and if you guys follow the channel you guys know usually jordans are like 30 40 bucks sometimes even 100 depending on what it is and the girl at the register literally rang it up for i think 5.99 so this was a steal especially considering the fact that they were legit so i was definitely happy with that but drop a comment let me know if you guys would list these as is because i did clean them a little bit but drop a comment let me know if you guys would clean them up and or list them as is because i think i might be able to get a little more money for these but then again there are some people that do like their shoes with some character all right y'all that's all i have for today's video but before i get out of here drop a comment let me know which one of these finds was your favorite one of the day for me of course it was that pair of jordan 11s because anytime i find jordans in thrift stores it's usually always super expensive or sometimes they just might be fake but i got super lucky with the fact that i got these for like five bucks and they were legit so that was definitely just a win-win for me but like i said before i'm going to clean them up and try to get some more profit for those but like i said let me know which one of these finds was your favorite one of the day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace I should've never offered it I'm tight and now I'm off this shit I'm